Yeah, sorry, sir. I stopped you there. Please, private functions. Gone fishing award ceremony with Bob Mortimer. Do you have a ticket? Well, no, I don't need a ticket. I'm in the show. Oh, right. Look, can you just go and check with somebody? Say, Paul Whitehouse is here and he wants to come in, all right? Lose the attitude, sir, or I'll have to set the dog on you. Are you having a laugh, mate? I'll go and check and see if anyone anywhere has actually ever heard of you. Come on, Ted. Ted, come on. Hey, Bob. All right, Paul. It's all very Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah. It ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? There's Which a... boxes is that? Well, the Christmas boxes. The Christmas the boxes. Christmassy boxes. Full of, full of cracker, Paul. Oh, OK. Hope I win, hope I win, hope I win. <laughs> yes, get in. Do you want the joke? Yeah. Um, doctor to patient, mm -hmm. I'm afraid to say um, you've got hypochondria, patient. Oh, God, not that as well. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Do you want to pull another one, what you might win? Yeah, come on. Hey, that's appropriate, Paul. Look, I've got a fish. You've got a fish, haven't you? Nice. Yeah, very appropriate. Come on, Bob. Right, you can win. win. Grab it a bit further up. All right. Oh. Oh, do you do that while Hate I you. investigate? <laughs> oh, oh you... Death. Death. Death yeah. of the post. Yeah. So I love our Christmas uh, work, Stu. Got the awards coming up, Paul. Stop. Stopped. Why can't penguins fly? Because they haven't... can't be asked. Live from Blythe in Northumberland, <laughs> it's the Gone Fishing Employee of the Year Awards. Oh, Yeah, OK, good. That was... I like Live from Blythe, though, Bob. This year? Yeah. There's an actual award. Oh, wow. So, if there's any year to win it, it's this year, isn't yeah, it, Yeah, but Bob? we know who's going to win it, Bob. No, so we don't. Yes, we do. Just get on with it. Go on, just get on with it. OK. So, this year, Paul, yeah. we've made a little film of the nominees. Oh, right. So, have a watch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Go on, then. Yep. Yay! Oh, it pops in, yes. Oh! Oh, Bob. <laughs> That's a good fish you got there, mate. I think so. What do you think it is? I don't know. Don't wind. It's not a penguin, you Don't wind. <laughs> yes! Yay! C trout! Don't wind, Bob. Don't wind. What? Well, what do you want me just I to do? Not lift the rod up. Concentrate and lift the rod up. Don't wind. I haven't wound. Don't fall. Don't wind, don't wind. I'm not winding. Stop. Bob, stop winding. What? Don't wind! Sorry, 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 sorry. Stop winding. Sorry. <laughs> Have you seen the river, lads? Yes, I see it. Let a goose over there. I'll smash it in pieces. <laughs> Teddy, can you come out oh, of there, please? Is. Such a selfish dog sometimes. It's this a straight Teddy. race between you and Ted, Ted. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
Do you know what? I'm happy with that. I, I bet you are, Charlie. You're so proud. So Charlie, what you've a, come what all, a lovely... the, all the way to Bly. <laughs> yes, it's only six hours drive. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is this it? Is that's this it? it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love that. <laughs> you that's, love it? Yeah. yeah. That's going, I would have yeah. loved it. It's too, going yeah. in the van. Look, Ted and you. Yeah. Fitting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Uh... Oh, hello, sir. Do you sell coffee? Ah, oh, it's a coffee <laughs> shop. It's called The Old Bloody Boat. Oh, and you sell coffee? Oh, have right, a seat. Huh? Is that your price? Yeah. Does that say nine or 19? 19. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to round it up to 20? Yeah, you can pay 20, uh, sir, yeah. yeah. Okay. It helps for restoration of the boat. <laughs> it need, needs some work, doesn't it? Would you like macchiato, campuccio? Ooh. What I'd would like you like? A sort of, I'd like a macchiato, Bob, with a little bit of milk. Would you like chocolate on top? No, thank you, no. There you are, sir. Wow. Oh, I hope it's good. I know you like your coffee. That's brilliant. Is it, though? That's, worth, it, no, no, that's it... worth 19 quid, yeah. Is it really nice? Yeah, it is great. Promise me. Yeah, how did you do it, then? I used this special pumping machine. Do you see? How is your general health at the moment, Paul? Uh, it's all right, Bob. You know, it's... It's kind of weird, isn't it? Because we're all fighting a bit of a losing battle, so we're getting older, aren't we? Yeah. So I do the exercise and I feel momentarily well, and I'm sure it's long-term beneficial as well. But it is tough, isn't it? But in a way, it's death that motivates your entire life, isn't it? The reason that you try to have a fulfilling life is because it's going to end. If you didn't know it was ending, wouldn't it all just be a bit dreary? Oh, so it sharpens your focus, yeah. Yeah, you've got this slab of time. Yeah, but I you... don't sit here looking round at this glorious sylvan beauty and think, oh, I better enjoy this a bit more because I'm going to die soon. You don't consciously think that, do you? No, but it's there in the background, Paul. Motivate. So, yeah. you're, what you're really saying is that if we had eternal life, it'd be pretty shit, really. Do you know, it just yeah. might be. I know yeah. it's the Holy Grail. Who wants to live forever? <laughs> Well, thanks for coming to the coffee shop. Do tell your friends. Uh, shall I tell them the prices, or shall I...? Best keep quiet keep about that. the prices. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks very much. It's been very nice to meet you. Um, have a...? No, I'm not shaking no. you. <laughs> OK, goodbye. It's astonishing. Look at that, look. Couldn't be anywhere else but Scotland, could it? The boreal pine forest, the glacial yeah. landscape... Yeah. ..the yeah. low, imposing clouds... The Trossachs here. Yeah. The stench of oats! <laughs> so this was the watch castle, yeah. the watch tower, for that castle. If both either one of us had worked a little bit harder yeah. or been a little bit funnier, we could be living there. Yeah. I mean, think of the upkeep. Yeah. Think of the loneliness, Bob. Think well, of the misery. My mum see a place like that, she say, oh, what about teating? Teating? Yeah, it cost a fortune, teat. <laughs> teating? Teated. And uh, what about Dustin? Oh, not like Dustin as in the like Dustin G. <laughs> you mean the dust, the Dustin? <laughs> what about Dustin Hoffman, <laughs> who's living up on top floor? He's probably got a few, hasn't he? There was a oh. Dustin Hoffman then. I can. Yes, you can. No, I can't. No, oh, no. <laughs> I see that was a. No. <laughs> Which one's that? That's he. He does something like that, doesn't he? Probably got an Oscar for that. No. <laughs> Right, home, please. Your accommodation for the evening, Melmaby Hall. Oh. So we're approaching by a driveway, Paul, oh. so you know it's class. Oh, look at that. That's a pile, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. My kind of pad. Let's wow. get in. I think you're going to like it. I like <laughs> it already. Oh, it's open. This is amazing, isn't it? Nice. This is fancy, Paul. Isn't it? Oh, there you are. Yeah. You having oh. a snooze? Kind of. Wow, look at no that. Snooze oh, what when you the do... booze comes. What's going on, man? Is there... Are we having a party? <laughs> well, kind of, Paul. <laughs> I've brought you a selection of my favourite Christmas drinks. Oh, just, just you and me at the party, is it? I yeah. From, you know... OK. Start with a mulled wine, Paul, that one. 
a twig came into my mouth. It's a clove. It's really nice. Drink number two yep. is the snowball. Are you familiar with the snowball? Uh, yeah, I am, yeah. It looks like a banana milkshake, and so I'm immediately drawn to it. Avocado and lemonade. Avocado and lemonade. <laughs> Avocado. Uh, oh, right, of course. Creamy. It's like liquidised soap with some sparkling water bunged in it. Oh, he does not like the snowball. Not for me, sorry. OK. If you'd like to select the next one, that's just straight Baileys. Straight Baileys. Liquid beige mud, isn't it? Beautiful yeah. colour for a vehicle, I think you'll agree. <laughs> and a suit. <laughs> <laughs> a suit that colour, in a car that colour, with a load of cardboard samples in the back seat. <laughs> Can you imagine? Ooh, I like it. We've got old works Christmas do coming up. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember last year, yeah. Yeah. We'll be giving out the awards and all that, and I want to get some special entertainment as well. Oh, right, OK. Give you a real treat, I hope. Well, that'd be nice. But tonight, we drink. Come on. Tonight, we do. <sighs> what? <laughs> What? What? Don't you what me? <laughs> You've drunk a snowball. I'm terrified. <laughs> so, Paul, I've brought you up to the northeast of England, where I'm from. Uh, yeah, I'm a smoggy. A very I've... beautiful pub. It is beautiful. Fantastic. Um, it's like a hidden gem yeah. of the UK. This is the backdrop to your Christmas trip. Wow. So Middlesbrough's over yonder, <laughs> where I'm from. You'll be all right. Oh, Don't worry, you'll be all right. <laughs> Thanks. And um, some beautiful fishing. Yeah. Look at that. Look, there's the river. There it is. There's, there's the yes. river. Yeah. Gosh, beautiful. Whoa. Little glimpse there of paradise, Bob. A little waterfall. So that river's carved its way through some that, pretty Whoa. solid rock. Now, for, it's probably been doing it for around a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like Christmas, Paul? <sighs> Honestly, Bob, not really. No. Not really. Well, I love it for my kids, but for me. No. Well, I hope after this trip, maybe you'll feel a little bit more. The spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Well, that's me. What, that's me. You are the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, Bob. This is getting me in the mood, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll take this. Oh. Oh, hi, Carl. You are. Look at you, boy. Yeah. You never get to what I'm with. Take a look. Yeah. 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 yeah it's tight house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This trip's going to cost me a lot of the leg, I love you. I love you, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> ciao and bella fragmento. See you, Carl. Are you doing your train guy there, Yeah, Bob? that's how you do business now. Oh, that's your business persona? Yeah. Yeah, it's very different to your normal yeah. persona. If you apply for a mortgage or whatever, yeah. go in, sit with the bank manager. Ah, oh, look at you, boy! <laughs> Selling mortgages! Ah! <laughs> Hilario! What's your favourite powdered thing? Is it powdered? Is it chocolate flour? I don't really like flour, so I can't control it. Don't do your usual trick. Don't go round and round and tell. What is your favourite powdered food? Well, as I say, I don't really. I'm, uh... God, this bloke! What? I'm not supposed to just leap to uh, some form of powdered food. I don't want to know. It. Did I ask you what is your what is your not favourite powdered food? I didn't ask you that. What's your favourite powdered food? I'm deliberating. It's not something I think about very often. Do you like hot chocolate powder? Not really. Do you really. like instant coffee? Not really. Oh man! Look, I'm telling you the truth. I don't. Do you eat bread? It's not powdered. The flour is powdered. I was just trying to explain about. I don't like flour because it's too uncontrollable. <laughs> Your grub's up, Paul. Tasteless tuna, yeah? But no, it's on the dreary side of tasty. That's what I wanted. Marvellous. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh. 
What's the melony area of it? Because it just looks like tuna and potatoes. It's got marmalade on it. Give it a go. Do you know what I mean? Give it a go before you look at me like that. <laughs> Come on, what do you reckon? Don't look at me. What do you reckon? It's like it's top quality somebody's cooking. cooked me some potatoes on a riverbank yeah. with love. With love, exactly. Yeah. You see, I think the thing is, is you can get away with murder. You have done. I know you have, haven't you? Has a man ever cooked for you before? An attractive, 40-ish, eight-year-old man <laughs> ever cooked for you? Ever, you know, well, cared enough? Yeah, of course, but not individually for me, no. Yeah. No. No, it's heart healthy to an extent. It's not, but, is it? Well, it is to an extent, because we've got tinned potatoes, basically the same nutritional value as paper. Trapped. Right? But when they're trapped, trapped. it's still like a yeah. bit of taste. <laughs> There's a little bit of protein filtering through. Some minerals, yeah? Your yeah. tuna's got a, a tiny amount of saturated fat. If we started worrying about eating tuna, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? Yeah. Well. You can have anything. You haven't got a dicky art or anything. What would you like to eat by a river? Oh. Pie. <laughs> Always pie, innit? <laughs> pie and die. <laughs> right. Um, I have just noticed I've got a half-eaten chicken in there. <laughs> it's my um, car meat. Is that a bit of car meat? How long has it been there? It's been there for some time. How many? Rubber it's been a good friend. Hours, <laughs> days, weeks. It's been a good friend. I'm going to have a bit. Mmm. Car meat. Mm. <laughs> it's the <laughs> sweetest meat. Mind the rod. Mind the wood. Well, look at it. It's right there. Be careful. Paul. What? Would you like a yoghurt that sell-by date was the 7th of November last year? Oh, look at it! Ah, oh, is that one of your car foods? Look at that. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, that, there might be a cure for COVID-19 <laughs> in there. <laughs> right, I think it's... Uh... Can you just shut up? All right, I'll shut up. So needy. Do you know your problem, Paul? You don't appreciate me enough. Bob, I just said you're so needy. <laughs> you came out with that. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? I'll do it. I'll out, I'll out snooze you, mate. Go. I'm just as a little starter for you. I'm going to do some fun cobs. Yeah? Are you coating it? I'm coating it with, with cheesy what? puff. <laughs> so, there you go. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! No, no, don't you come at me with that bouncing corner. Do you want me to have it, then? No, I want it, but I don't want it... Go on, tuck it. Am I allowed to...? How is it? It's fantastic. It's what fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. What have you done, you little wizard? <laughs> Do you know it reminds me of a top heavy pole vaulter? <laughs> no one in ones, when they go, you think he's never getting over there. We just need to come up with a name for him, Paul. Cobby Wobbles. Cobby Wobbles, it is, Paul. <laughs> Bob. Hello, darling. Take my hat off. No. Take my hat off. No. I'll never be able to wear it again. Why? Because it should be shite housed. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a little twerp in it. Do you know what I'm going to call you from now on? What? Bob Shortimer. I've always convinced myself I'm like maybe just above short ass. Yeah, you probably are just. You know, I'm not like Wayne Sleep, am I? Or I dance like him. Right, so we're off to the I'm clinic. I'm going to Botox. The enhancement clinic, mate, is young again. I look at my hair and I, you know, look around at people who I know and you know have had hair transplants and you think, oh, we work in an industry where pretty well everyone now has some kind of surgical enhancement. It's only you and me, old saggy face, <laughs> bag pussies that haven't. You know, like, we've been talking about getting old and... Mm. We hear about, that you can help you know, with looking, 
good for your age. So have you got any concerns? I mean, do you think, what do you think? I don't really have any concerns because although my hair's going, you know, okay. I've got a way lot more than him. Yes, I can see that. See? Doctor, can you, can you actually do anything about oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. Are you OK? <laughs> do you need some sunglasses? Or is no, that no, too no, no, far no, gone? Is that, that too is, far gone? I think, too much. There's no way we can cover all of, all of your scalp. Finish, Mortimer. What about this? Present? Hmm. Let's have a look at you the back, You can work actually. with that, can't you, Doc? Yes. You've got a fantastic donor area. I can work with that. Oh, it's all about the... The, the donor of... area. Yes, yes, yes. And you take individual hairs and Individual plant hair them follicles in and the... just redistributing yeah. it back. Shall we draw on your head? If you want. I'm, yeah. I'm not precious. Right. OK, yeah. so the angles here, that's where you're... Mm. Can you see some hair there? Oh, that's yeah. where I've placed the, gotcha. the angle and we just sort of join it in. Yeah, that's yeah. great, yeah. OK. If we just fill in those so, holes there, like that, and then back... OK. Yeah. Would you be able to give a ballpark figure as to how much it costs? For him? Yeah. It would be eight. Eight thousand. Yeah. Wow. I think that's an excellent investment. Well, eight grand. At my age. I do. Yeah, I do. I mean, if you're happy when you look at yourself in the mirror... I mean, I'm all right. You, then you do not need to have it if you're but happy you with how you look. Yeah, but I think I've got more hair and I think I'm younger than I am, you know. When you're talking about looking younger, it's also looking after your skin. Can you frown for me? I think you look at those. T take oh, a right. look at them. It's like you're like one of those masks you get in a joke shop. OK, and smile. Yeah, well done. And can you frown? Well done and surprise. Well done. So you see these lines here. Those can be softened with anti right. injections. You can soften these lines. Yeah. This man needs those injections. <laughs> this is not a case of, well, you could, you know. Are you going to have any? Because, you, you know, you've got a few. Your lines are obviously not as deep as you, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, but I win on the hair front, Bob. Yes, you yeah. do. That's, that's yes. the real killer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go, oh, I just did that for fun. Oh, oh but it, it helps, doesn't it? Oh. Oh. Where's it getting you? On my thigh. And your quads. Is that what they're called? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chase the duck. Chase the duck. Chase the duck. Chase the duck. Shoot the duck. <laughs> Whoa. More ducks, please. Uh, here's a gannet. <laughs> here's a cormorant. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, hmm? I, when I was young, I was known as a beach runner. A beach runner? Be no, a beach runner. Did you used to run up and down Red Cub Beach then? If I saw a beach, I'd stop my bicycle. <laughs> I'd stop my bicycle, get off and run. Oh, everyone. Oh, uh, Bob's uh, seen a beach. Yeah. Mm. So I think I would like to formally challenge you to a beach run. With my knees and my back, you want me to run? You fear me winning, don't you? Now you've heard my backstory about being a beach runner. Yeah, but uh, your backstory is having you as the hero of Telemark. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, do you know what I mean? You win everything, don't you? Yes. <laughs> These are slippy, aren't they? Some of them. <laughs> do you want to win the race? I might just let you win. Good tactic, White right, House. Right, I'll put a line in the sun. Okay. Get out of the way! Where we running to? See that rock that slopes? That one there. First one to touch that. Go on then. On your marks, get set, go! Bang on. We'll have to go for a, a judge's decision, and it? VAR. Yeah, VAR. Yeah. <laughs> Fair result, Well, isn't it? thank you very much. I'm going to cook some sardines for Paul. Do you like sardines? Nah. Ted, you can be... Oh. That's what I think of sardines, mate. Have that. Did you see that, Paul? I did. I hope you don't react like that to my sardines. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, it's all ready. Do you want to come over? Yeah. There you go, sir. Thank you. That wow, looks great. Oily fish generally are good, aren't they? Yeah. No, it's nice, Bob. To the River Dee. To the River Dee. To a wonderful trip. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much, Bob. Bob, look. Look. Look, it's one of those glorious pastoral scenes that we are oh, occasionally wow. allowed into. Look at that. The light, the cattle. Beautiful, isn't it? Ted! Ted, do you want something to eat? Oh, we've had such a nice trip. Haven't we? Ted's just lapped it up, hasn't he? Yeah. He's not contributed anything. Not contributed a thing. Not a thing. He just, he's a freeloader, isn't he? Mm. That's the definition of a freeloader, Ted. Now that Ted's had a bellyful, I might give him a race. He's been mouthing off saying he could run faster than me. Oh, he would. If dog years works, then he's 70, mm. I'm 63. I should be able to beat him in a race. Ted! Ted! Would you like a race? Yeah, he does, look. Right. It's the official UK final 30 yard dash canine v human. On your marks. Get set. Underway! Did I win? No. <laughs> well done, so Ted. Am I. Well done, Ted. A worthy winner. Hey, Paul. Hmm? Did you do your bow and arrow? Yep. Well, we need to fire them before we have to leave. What, tonight? Now? Yeah. The one that goes furthest, the other one has to stand on that spot and take the pants down. <laughs> That's fair enough, isn't it? <laughs> you ready, Paul? Yeah. That's pretty good. Well, off you go, Paul. I thought it was good, Bob. <laughs> right, we have to go and check now. <laughs> <laughs> There's the others. I think you might have beaten me by an inch, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? I've beaten you by two feet. To get out. <laughs> This takes some doing. <laughs> <laughs> and me pants. Get them down! <laughs> I want to see flesh! Whoop! <laughs> Beautiful. Well, what a great end it to was. the trip. See you in your body. Thank you. Right, I'll tell you what, Paul, like, let's have a game of football. Let's do a penalty shootout for bedroom choice. OK. I'm going in goal. I'm Lev Yashin, by the way. I'm putting it... Who are you being? You're who? Lev Yashin. You're Lev Yashin? Yeah. I'm John Hickton. Who's he? He played for Middlesbrough. Right. Never missed a penalty in um, his 35-year career. <laughs> <laughs> Your knees will give out before you get there. <laughs> Save with his foot. Sent me the wrong way, but I was equal to it. Right, what are you going to do now? Blast it as hard as I can. OK. Oh, me knee! No, no, me knee! I'm serious! I'm serious! Oh, no! It just clicks out, does it? No cruciate ligament in my left knee. No, I believe you, Paul. Oh, what a shame. So I win, though, yeah? Yes. Do you know what? I think I'll have the big room with the big, soft bed that says luxury on the headboard. Well, even though I'm the injured part. Yes, yeah, yes, I think so. Have you got a favourite artist, Paul? What, like as in art that you put on a wall? Uh, have you got a favourite artist? It's not that tricky. Right. It's not that different from have you got a favourite type of jam? 
Well, I can tell you that straight oh, right. away. What, it's raspberry, isn't it? Yeah, it was raspberry, yeah. Oh, so, my, mind you, I like cherry. Cherry is nice, yeah. isn't it? But it's a bit left field, isn't it? Black currant's nice. No? Nah, too acidic. So, was, have you got a favourite artist? I'm not really good on art. I don't know how long to look at a painting for before I move on to the next one. <laughs> have yeah. you got a favourite artist? No. <laughs> No. No, I do. And Paul, <laughs> it's Mother Nature. Oh, I see. So I'm my favourite artist. Look no, around good. you. Cheers. Right. Cheers, my dear. Cheers, that looks nice, your beer there. Good day's fishing, that one, it? Was, wasn't it? Yeah. You did really well today, Bob. You did great with us, that. You got a bit coy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll have a drink from that. <laughs> Isn't it glorious? That's fantastic. That's a par four, this, Paul, yeah. which means it should take four minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, Paul. I shouldn't laugh. And nor should you. You should be ashamed. Straight the rough. Well, I'm not using what you use. What did you use? Look at the size of this. I bet he's played it before. No one's been. <laughs> Come on, hapless Bob. Whoa! Whoa! Look at it go! Where'd it go? Nobody knows. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right, I'm going to find my ball, Paul. I think it went over there. Oh, I can see it! Oh, Where is it? Oh, look at that! Nearly in the bunker, Bob, but good shot. Good shot. Lovely. Just get me eye in. <laughs> get me eye in. <laughs> I'm no good at the golf, but I've got a great relationship with this. <laughs> That's not bad at all, is it? So tell you what, give me a couple of weeks, I'd have this game cracked. <laughs> oh, oh, good shot, Bob. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to go. Oh, nearly went. Yes, 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 yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's golf ball. I liked your ability. For someone who's uh, never played golf before, it was uh, suspiciously good. Do you know um, when we're fishing, Paul, we're going to have a posh picnic. <sighs> Why would you bring me down with talks of picnic? I want to go fishing. Cheese. Cheese picnic. Wait a minute. That's what you want. I'm hearing a voice mate, saying cheese. Really? Yeah. Uh, and how, are you, how is it suggesting you have this cheese? It's sit in a sort of picnic. Sounds great, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what we should do, isn't it? Yeah, that's so, a great idea. There's a lovely cheese shop in Stamford. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Should be able to get ourselves some tasty stuff. Lovely. Are we allowed to eat cheese? No, but we're, well, we are birthday license. <clears throat> but, oh, right, OK. So, picnic Lake Bream. Hats off to the posh for the presentation of these grounds, you know? I can't imagine many of them did the actual digging themselves, but... But they had the vision. Incredible, really. Here we are, Paul, cheese shop. Is this a cheese shop here? This is the place, come on. Wow. Follow your nose, as it were. Oh, a bit dizzy after that, Bob. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. This is like a, it's like a cheese cave, Bob, isn't it? Yeah. yeah we're underground, aren't we? Yeah. I'm so happy you found me. We could smell you a mile off. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> My cheeses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all your cheeses, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have a posh picnic wow. um, okay. by the lake at Burley House this afternoon, and we're looking for some... Um, cheese. Oh. Extravagant cheeses. Uh, extravagant cheese. Strong, hard, strong. Uh, really strong, please. I'd, I'll I... tell you what I like, but I'd like to try something different. I really like a poisse. A poise. A okay. poise. That's a soft cheese. Yeah. You like it so much you don't even know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, is, is there something similar to that, but not that? Maybe I will suggest Liverot. Liverot. Or mm. our British stinking bishop. What's this bungay? That's butter. 
See, it says, see where it says, <laughs> Bob, see where it says raw butter. That's the clue. Did you try sheep cheeses before? I've got the beautiful sheep milk cheese. There we are, the course from Corsica, France. Yeah. Thank you so much. What? What do you think? Very nice. Uh, sheep cheese is like leaving the after size, beautiful size. Mm. So the one Bob's those palate yeah? is not sophisticated enough. Have you got any dairy, Are you going with brevis ah. and <laughs> <laughs> May I try a bit of stronger blue one? Yeah. Mrs. Bell's blue. Oh! Oh, he's got it. He's done it. Oh. There we go. We got him. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> so we've got plum bread. You're going to choose us some crackers, Alex. We'll have some dates. Absolutely. Do you think we've got ourselves a picnic? I think we've got an extraordinary picnic, Robert. We've cheesed well enough. Come on. La Soleil Brie. Here's a good spot, yeah? Yeah, lovely. Oh, among the daisies. So many cheeses. Put them all together and what have you got? A heart attack, a picnic, <laughs> yeah? I've got a little knife here. I love brie that's gone um, liquidy. Do you? You're quite disgusting, aren't you, Bob, really? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Right. What do you reckon? Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. And that was a Yorkshire brie. Is that a bee or a bee? Look, he's it's in a bee, the it's breadsticks. A bee's in the breadsticks. A bee's in the breadsticks. We've got a bee in the breadsticks. He's, a, he's like a bee in a breadstick. <laughs> Well, do you fancy some of your Gouda? Try the Gouda. Is it Gouda or Gouda? I don't know. <laughs> Hillary from Accounts thinks it's Gouda. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nigel from mm. HR says Gouda. Gouda. Are we haven't a clue where we are. No, it's Gouda. Look, it's got, it's got some power in the colour, isn't it? Look. Well, all I'd say is this pause, I can't think of anything nicer. This is real privilege. Yeah. Rather That's than true. the privilege of wealth the, or whatever. Trappings. The trappings, yeah. Mm. What's the pickled onion like? Strong, S sharp. Have tart. you ever eaten one of these like a thunderbird? No. <laughs> it tastes so much sweeter. Does it? Oh! Whoa. Quick! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, don't fall over. Let me get it. Get on it, get on it. Ah, too old, too slow. Oh, I've been on the ground too long. Ted! Uh, Ted's getting the cheese. Yes! Whoa, Whoa look at him! Oh. A fish at last. This thing go, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd get one, Paul. Cool, he's a bar of silver, this one. Look. Wow! He's big, a biggish lad, Paul. He's all right. He's going to jump. He's going to jump. He'll run. No, 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 Bob, no. Ah! <laughs> Paul, give it a few minutes. What, before I kill yeah, you? Yeah, just give it a few minutes. I'm disappointed in myself, Paul. I'm disappointed in my teacher. Oh. For allowing me to behave that badly. Well, I thought you were going to try and pick the fish up. If a child's I putting said, their hand next to a fire, you tell them to stop. You're not a child. You're a 61 year old man with the brain of a child. <laughs> What's in me porridge? Heart healthy wise, yeah. dates, pears. What have I told you, Paul? What is the beauty of them? They, they sort of seek and destroy cholesterol. Is that right? Bad cholesterol? Yeah. Move around your bloodstream. Yeah. See a bit of cholesterol. Gotcha! Whoa! Get ya! <laughs> As like your cockneys would say. <laughs> oh. Yeah? I was so happy destroying this man's heart. <laughs> and then this prune came along. <laughs> and also, Paul, yeah. I've got... Cos you're a Londoner, I got some chia seeds. Oh, yeah, I know all about chia. High protein, isn't it? I don't know, Paul, but I know that you Londoners no, really, get excited in, in by it. I'm serving up. I'm not having those uh, London seeds on, though. OK, is that what you call them now, London seeds, yeah? I don't know where they come from. South America, probably. South America. I would think so. He says, hey, Andre, you know London? <laughs> you know London? They're fools. 
See all the dust here on the foundry? <laughs> we sweep it up, Queen. send it to London. Sell them. Nice. Oh, this is good. What ratio of porridge to sugar have you got there? It's 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got your London seeds, Paul. Bloody hell. There you go. Oh. It's just bulk, really, isn't it? Thank you. Do you know what? Actually, Bob, I've had a weird flashback. Yeah. T Tipping my, just like my dad's ashes. I am honestly the cheer. Oh, sorry. Is... Sorry, Dad. Ah, oh, all right, lad. That's the crime against, well, I was going to say humanity, but... Well, it would be poultry, wouldn't it? Yeah. Is it poultry? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've brought down a seagull. It just doesn't look right on that bit of manky old metal. Did you bring that with you? Yeah. Bob's Grill. Bob's Grill, yeah. yeah. So, like, cos it's, like, seasoned. Paul, I'm going to test the chicken. Ooh. It's literally <laughs> falling off the bone. <laughs> that looks edible, you know. Of course it's edible. I'm Are not... you going to eat some? Take this bit, eat it, and I'm going to watch you for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to make your decision. I'll make my decision, yeah. Right, OK. Yeah, it's like burnt chicken. It tastes like chicken. I'm not saying <laughs> When you say you're old fellow, is yours very old? It's the same age as me. So is it it's really? pretty old. I think maybe you got it second hand when you were about nine. <laughs> I'm not sure what young Paul is. Oh, I've always wanted a son. <laughs> Shall we go and get him a little winky? <laughs> Off a sheep or something. <laughs> Off a fox. Oh, hello, sir. Have a seat. Yes, that's part of the entertainment. It's fun hour. Do have a seat, sir. Can oh, I get you a drink? Yes, what have you got? Beer. Well, I'll have a beer then, please. I've been fishing today. Have you really, sir? How interesting. With uh, Bob Mortimer. Really? <laughs> no, that is interesting. I thought you might change your tune when I lobbed in the Mortimer bomb. And how was he? Delightful, I would imagine. Small, <laughs> stunted. <laughs> Thank you, landlord. Oh, dear. May uh, I join you, sir? Yes, please do sit down. Well, are there going to be any other customers coming in tonight, or is it just you no, and me? No, just the two of us, sir. Oh, this could drag on for it, an eternity, it couldn't it? It could drag It already has. <laughs> there you go, sir. There's a choice of menus. Chicken or chicken, yeah? No, sir. You can have chicken in the basket. <laughs> or chicken near basket. <laughs> or if you're on a diet, you can simply Just have the basket. basket. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, yeah. would you like another pint? I would love one, yeah. No, we're closed, sir. So oh, you get out. <laughs> nasty man. Good afternoon, sir. Are you on your own? You look like the sort that would be. Um. No, I'm actually with, uh, I'm with someone, Bob Morton. I oh, Bob Morton, I'd love to meet him. You His wouldn't... sex on a stick. <laughs> you wouldn't like to meet him. Oh, I would, sir. Really? You to wouldn't... meet you him would him? be a dream come true. <laughs> it wouldn't be. Wait a minute. It's you. It's me, Paul. Oh, you really had me going there for a minute. Oh. <sighs> Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Elderflower restaurant. Yeah. Have you made your mind up, sir? I think I'll go for the roast grouse, please. And I'll have the I'm afraid bit. that's off the menu this evening, sir. Isn't it sad? We do have a delicious lime court sea bass served with samphire, oyster mayonnaise, and plankton. Tasty. Plankton? Plankton, sir. Do you think I'm a baleen whale or something? No, sir. I'd rather you were, but you ain't. <laughs> OK. Um, what about the Blackmoor Farm Mallard? Yes, what about it, sir? Is it available? No, sir, I'm afraid, but we do have some delicious sea bass. Oh, it's right, been lying caught today. 
Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. By a little old man. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I actually said tee hee, then. <clears throat> good evening, sir. Will you like be it. dining with us this evening? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. You look like the sort of might like a tin meat. Spam or a, Sorry? a corned beef or something like that. Uh, yeah, can I see a menu, please? No, there's no menu tonight, sir. The chef's just done a special, one special. So that's it, there's no choice. No, sir. Are you for real? You're very, very real, too real. I could enter your dreams or your nightmares. Could go either way, left to right, eat away. It's <laughs> me, Paul! Oh, it's you! Yeah! I'll tell you what. I... You got a bit scary then. Do you know what? Oh. You've got to watch it, mate, cos I was going to strike you there. Oh, dare, dare I press the ignition? Yeah, just wait a minute. <laughs> the world's I think it might smallest be a light. and most useless It's a light, boat. no, it's it lives. Where? It's a light, look. Excellent. Right, come on in. Shit! Shit! The... You just turn it off, Bob. I'm sorry, Paul. It's... I panicked. You did panic a bit, didn't you? Yeah. I'm a bit scared of fire. Cos I did furnace to burn my house down, oh, yeah, you know, of so... What are you tasting, Paul? Like, you know... I'm I know I'm tasting... fishing for compliments. I'll tell you but... what I'm tasting, Bob. Friendship. Do you know what I mean, though? Yeah. We're in dreamland, aren't we? It's really nice, isn't it? It's lovely. We've been friends 30 years now. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Hard to believe. Mm. So, you've had 30 years to ponder this. Right. Um, would you like to change anything about me? About the way I behave, you know, about things I do? Would you like me to be slightly less handsome so, to make you look better? That would help. So, let's conclude that there's nothing you would change about me. There's nothing I would change about you, Bob. Righty ho. OK. Do you want me to reciprocate now? Well, I'll tell you that. So you can have a dig, yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, go on, then. Well, ask me the question. Oh, God, you're really dragging this out, aren't you? What would you like to change about me, Bob? Right. I wish you'd get a better skin regime, because, to be honest, it's getting pretty frightening looking at your face. Huh? I wish you dressed differently. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about dress differently, right? Yeah. It's the man, I've never seen you out of that jacket. I've worn this jacket every day for about three years, that's yeah, a year. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not that bothered about clothes, and I can see you're not. <laughs> Do you want to play Guess the Animal? What? Are you going to make the noise and I have to guess yeah. what it is? Yeah. I thought it might be something like that. <laughs> Did you want to play? Go on, then. OK. OK. What? What? Have you started? <laughs> yeah, that was a worm. <laughs> Can't hear a thing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I Did know. you just slurp food out of your bowl? This milky sass. Ugh. Oh, God. How on earth did you marry anyone? Oh, that gives me such a rush. Just check my heart rate. <laughs> Where are you? 130. <laughs> mm. oh, I thought you could stand me up. No mm -hmm. chance. The Gone Fishing Christmas Party, Paul. Well, this is a cracker, isn't it? Quite literally, Bob. Paul, we've got our award ceremony. I've got it all prepared. Um, here we are. That's the Gone Fishing Employee of the Year. Oh, 2020. Right. Oh, I wonder who it can be. And the winner is... Yes, for the fourth year running, the winner is... Robert Mortimer, that's me. Oh, what a surprise. And uh, I've got an award there. Employee of the Year, Robert Mortimer. Yeah. Why does that not surprise me, like, one iota? I didn't show any bias or anything, Paul. Yeah, but it's the same every year, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. Who are the candidates? You and me. Yes. Who's on the judging panel? You. Me, yeah. <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> You. Yeah, yeah, but I reflect on it fairly, you know, Finn. Oh, right, yeah. Honestly, you're so miserable. Here, there's another one. There you go. There's a second award. Oh. 
Yes, you read it out and then open the envelope. Oh, yeah. Huh. Gone for Shin Award for Outstanding Achievement. Ah! And the winner, Ted. The dog. Yeah. And look. Yep. Yeah. Gone fishing, outstanding achievement, Ted. Isn't that wonderful for Ted? Are you here, Ted? Ted! Come on, Ted. Well done, Ted. Oh, he's this year's winner. Yeah. Well, say congratulations, Paul. Congratulations, Paul. Well done, Ted. I think that's a really fair result. Go and get a sausage, Ted. Go on. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, I've not been to a work do where I've had a Christmas dinner that looks as good as this, Bob. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Well, we shouldn't be eating this, really, should we? Why? But once a year... Turkey is lean meat, isn't it? It's a good, it's a good source of protein. OK, then. Um, explain that. <laughs> well, OK, now, that has sneaked in via the bank door. Wallop, as mm. it were. The awkwardness of the Christmas work do. Yeah. So, where do you live? Nearby. You're nearby, are you? Yes. I'm actually a bit further. Oh, you're a bit further out. A bit further out. Mm -hmm. What department are you in? I'm not... <laughs> I've not seen you around the office. <laughs> no, I'm on a different floor from you. Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you accounts. Procurements. <laughs> it's an interesting reaction. <laughs> Nobody else has ever reacted like that when I've told them I'm in procurements. What do you do in procurements? Oh, this and that. This and that? <laughs> you do this and that. <laughs> I'm in accounts. And what do you do in accounts? Just this. We very rarely... No, that very rarely. Very rarely get any of that. <laughs> Morning, Paul. Come on, let's check out the uh, caravan. Yep. When I was a kid, me and my sister would have loved to have gone in one of these. Yeah, no. You see a lot of them around the island. Ooh, wow, well, it's great. Careful on your way up, old timer. This is a really hazardous piece of kit for an old fella. My name's Mystic Wolf. Hi. Hello. Hey. Yep. Shake your hands and away. OK. Right, now, I'm going to tell your future. I'm not actually from around these parts. No, I'm, I can tell. I'm from Yorkshire. Right, well, I'm on the run, actually. Fraud. Right. Changing vehicle uh, yeah, registration. Yeah, I suspect you saw the police coming, did you? Absolutely. I'll shake your hand on that. <laughs> and away. OK, so you want to know about whether your fishing trip will be successful? Yes, please, Costa. I can help. Oh, yes, I can see you. I can see you on the... On the sea, on the sea, or a large it's a, lake? Yes, yes, a yes. lock. Yes, yes. On a lock. Lock urn. Uh, now you're yeah, with, very good pike lock. Yeah. You, I can see you then. Are you with yeah. someone else? You're with a, a much younger man. Is it your son? Is it your son? I'm saying he's a very attractive. He's actually he's really gorgeous. Is it a modelling assignment? You're, no, you're fishing. You're fishing. Yes. Yeah, he's a sort of aging half wit, really. Very needy man. Actually, do you know what, Paul? I can feel something from this ball. You're going to believe me or not? No, go on then. Well, go on, I'll believe you. I don't think we're catching. What? Just... Well, well, that's what I felt. So I hope it's not a portent. 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 Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so I hope you found that value for money. And that's it, nice and high and away. <laughs> Bob. Oh, yeah. Hello. I've come to perform CPR on you. It's part of your gold star package that we agreed earlier. This is all a bit out of the blue. Of treatment. Do you remember? Oh, I get you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're okay. going to demonstrate CPR. Yeah, you have a heart condition, don't you? I do, so, yeah, yes. So do I. So well, I have, and you have, a moral responsibility to brush up on your CPR technique, don't okay. you? OK. Don't worry, you're going to be absolutely fine. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Are you aware that the prompt administration of CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, is vital? So, 
first step. Well, have you, have you phoned the... Well, exactly. Ring the emergency services. I did ring the emergency services, OK, and what yeah. did they say? They said you had five... <laughs> <laughs> they said you had five needs of ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> they said, who's it for? Bad morning, but don't bother now! <laughs> OK, all right, OK. Yeah. OK, so, this is the technique. You use the heel of your hand, that's that bit there, the sort of power house yeah. of the hands, yeah. right? OK, you interlock your fingers, you locate the centre of the breastbone. Could yeah. you do that for me, please? <laughs> oh! Nearly try again. There, I knew. <laughs> So, look, I'll put that on there just You to wouldn't normally you. use no, the I wouldn't, no. now, would you? I'm going to be depressing you to a... I really do hope I depress you. Uh, to a depth of two inches, that's about five centimetres. It's going to break me bones. Do you want to live or die? That much. Do you want to live? I want to live. OK, I'm going to use my body weight to help with the yeah, I'm... compressions and the... The rhythm that you want is about two per second. It's, a lot of people say to the beat of staying alive, but you can choose your own song if you wish. All right, you ready? I'm not going to use my full body weight. If there's any sign of life, obviously I'm not system. Mother. <laughs> and I do this till help arrives or I'm exhausted. Thank you, Paul. I might just remember that and I yeah. might save your life one day. You might, Bob. Paul, do you like Neapolitan ice cream? No. You know, where it's the three splurp? No. Why not? It's just too complex. It's not that complicated, Paul. It's three. It's three flavours, chocolate, vanilla and strawberry. It's pricks like you that have led to it in my school. <laughs> they all want salted caramel or chilli ice cream. I do. I've lost all my confidence, Paul. I can't get up the ridge. Right, I need to go more. <laughs> I need to just uh, get a bit yeah. of confidence. I'll help you. Come on. Ready? OK, ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> You like it a lot, don't you? It's some of your best work, honestly, Bob. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. And away. Yeah, yeah, and away, yeah. Are you comfortable? If reasonably. Is your mind open? Always. There's a chicken. There is a chicken. There is a There's chicken. a chicken in here, isn't there? I do tend to do my readings in the presence of wildfire. Right. Now, these are soccer cards. Oh. Yeah, very unconventional. Isn't yeah. It? Whoa, Hello. Yes. Mystic right. Wolf, such command of the animal kingdom. Meet Mystic Wendy. Hello, Mystic Wend. She'll right. choose the cards for you. So we put four piles yeah. up. Yep. Okay. There we go. Two, three, four. Yeah. Now, Mystic Wendy, which one is it? That That's the one. Scum, blimey. <laughs> right. I'm now able to answer any question you might have as to how the day may unfold. Well, might unfold. Yeah. Might unfold. Well, as I say, I'm... <laughs> Are you OK? No, I'm seeing everything <laughs> no. as clear as day. I can see that something's coming through you. Yeah. Ask yeah. away. What would you like to know? I'd like to know if my half-wit friend Bob yes. is going to catch a salmon today. No. Absolutely no chance. Anything else? <laughs> no, that's it, really. And oh, away. Off you go. Yeah, I'm then. gone. I'll hold this, yeah? Right, now, you go to this side here, please, yeah? Have you been to Capri before? <laughs> don't move. I'm not moving. Ooh, look at that. There you are. All right, don't do fancy stuff! <laughs> Help! You... <laughs> you start doing fancy stuff! <laughs> Are you thinking about your lunch? Wouldn't mind something to eat, but it's been a long time since breakfast. Then, I'm your man. So this is a Spanish MRE, Russian. Mm -hmm. Now, which one would you like? Because this one is a Bulgarian. All right, Bulgarian. Is that um, like you simply add water and pie emerges? Oh, I think it's sausages. That's the powder. You can't have powdered sausage. No, and what it is, Paul, this bag here, yeah? You put this in this bag, put a, a hundred ml of water in it or something, and it's a cooker. 
How exciting is that? Whoa. I've that got this fun. delicious Spanish menu, and I'll get on with that. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Bob. I'm going to go and have a little go with the fly rod, because it's gone very quiet. How long have I got? Well, because I don't speak Bulgarian, I'm on, I'm on the hoof a bit with this. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, looks pretty good. Is my dinner ready? Yours looks amazing, yeah. Go sit down, make yourself at home. All right, I will. Thanks very much. Right, Paul. Hot Bulgarian meat packet. <laughs> I've dreamed of this moment all my life. Well, it's a real long. A bit of parts of it. Well, that's... <laughs> Let me just get that heat through it. Oh, it's lovely. You're massaging my meat bag. Are you hungry, boy? You're hungry, boy, aren't you? Yeah. You are massaging my meat bag, aren't you? I don't think you should look at it. OK, OK, got him. Right, go on him. Here you go. You lucky, lucky meat bag winner. Now, they appear to have smashed the living out of the sausages, so don't expect any form. It's free form sausage. <laughs> there you are, Paul. Get oh, my the... God. Nice, that, isn't it? Oh, actually, actually, it could be a stew, couldn't it? Could be a stew in another um, in parallel another universe. Yeah. Oh, it's not warm. It's not cold. That one bit of it was... And that is hot. Have you seen what I've got to eat? No, show me. Cos you, you are very much in last laugh territory here, Paul. Am I? Yeah. Oh, God, that bit's freezing. What is yours? Jellied chorizo. Oh, my God. What's in there? Well, I don't think it's been heated, to be honest Good. with you. Good, well, you can join my club then, can't you? I don't want to be in your Bulgarian meat bag club. <laughs> Gone. Shall I call the ambulance now? <laughs> oh! He's doing it! Is it all right if I leave this and have it tomorrow? Was your dad strict, Paul? No, not really, Bob. He didn't shout or anything like that. He wasn't. It was. He was quite a quiet, calm bloke, really. Did he have a like a quiet authority like me? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you probably think I'm being nosy, but well, you are a bit, yeah. No, but my old man died when I was seven, in a car crash. I know. I feel sad for you about that, Bob. And I've often wondered what it's. I, I didn't think I'd missed it. But I really miss it as I got when I got older, when I was a dad, and right. thinking I didn't have that role model, you know. And I've subsequently found out that when the dad dies, yeah, in those circumstances, one of the kids will always become what they call the hero child. You became that hero yeah, child. Yeah, so doing all the cleaning, going down the really? laundry for me mum, and that suddenly life wasn't as wasn't the same. I wasn't right. a little kid anymore. Really? Yeah, and it's sad because I was only seven. My dad only died in 2018, so it's quite raw with me still. I really miss him, and I think about him every day. But weirdly, I don't feel very sad for very long. I, I have such sort of positive memories of him. How old was he, Paul? Well, he was old. He was 86. Did you tell me he stopped fishing? Yeah. You know, I mean, you couldn't stand in here, could you, as an 80-odd-year-old? What he really liked to do towards the end was feed the birds. Tuppence. The birds. Just tuppence. 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 Paul! 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 Are you coming? You coming back over, Paul? I've got something for you. 
Is it worth it? Sit down. OK. <sighs> Hello, sir. My <laughs> name's Mystic Wolf. I'm here to offer you a pebble reading. Oh, right, OK. And now I'm... I can look into your future. Mm, do I have to pay for this? Simply choose three pebbles. Do I have to pay? You will have to pay. <laughs> Select your pebbles. Three pebbles. Three pebbles that you think mean something to you. OK, Wilf. You might hear a rumbling a bit like a washing machine. <clears throat> <laughs> the first pebble is your life pebble. Oh, right. Yeah, and that's mm. going right into the drink. Just like you, son. I'll give you 18 months. The smaller pebble <laughs> is your libido. And as you can see, <laughs> it's fading very fast. So much so that I think it can go yeah, in the it sea. Did. It did, yeah, OK. The third pebble you selected is very interesting mm. because what it's dictating there, you should do, is that you should give a close friend over £6,000. <laughs> it's very specific. I wonder who this friend can be. I'm seeing... Uh, do you know Bob? He's very handsome, if a bit plump. Does that ring any bells? Hard to get used to failure, isn't it? Constant fool, doesn't it? I think yeah. we saw the tail at its best. We saw it looking beautiful, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Would you have rather seen the tail at its worst, but caught something? Obviously. You think so? You reckon? <laughs> oh, that's a fish. Oh, he's in the room. That's mine as well. Bob, Bob, calm down, calm down, calm down. Right, come here. Oh, he's gone over. He's gone over. Bob, come here. Come on. Bob. Get Are we up. in? Do you promise we're in? Get up. Yes. Come on. Come here. Come on. You take this. Come on. Come what, here. What you know, do I actually right, do? Right. Just, just hold it. Hold, 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 hold. on. Right, come on. Keep it away from the board. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you... Oh, you better oh, do it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Bob. Come on. No, it doesn't matter. No, it's good fish. <laughs> whoa. Oh, no. God. Oh, no! Was that my fault, Paul? Please no. tell me it was my fault. No, no. <laughs> For all I saw was some legs go <laughs> in my peripheral vision. Just some, some like waders went up in the air in an unnatural way. People all around me are laughing at me. I'm 60, and I'm just a That's what you've always wanted. figure of ridicule. <laughs> This is our last night, Paul, of our gone Christmas fishing. Yes, a bit so, isn't it? We should open the presents from under the tree. Yeah, of course we should. There you go, Bob. Tiny presents. Yeah, tiny, yeah, but as my mum's used to say... Love from Paul. ..the best things come in small packages. Yeah? Yeah, go on, open it up. It feels like jewellery. It seems... Is it a listening device for my neighbours? Yeah, it's ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a balance band, Bob. Explain. You'll be able to wear that and yeah. it will centre you so you never go flying on the bank again. Really? You stay on your feet. Well, that's what the claim is. You look like a sort of Maltese international playboy now, don't you? Hello. Do you <laughs> yeah, see yeah. the boat in the harbour there? Ah, yes. That's mine. Is it a... Oop. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> now it's mine. <laughs> What's this? With love from Bob. Yeah, that's me present oh, to you. thank you, Bobby. Do you think it's a calendar, like a famous gardener's Titchmarsh? Oh, that might be nice. That sort of thing. Mm, this is a folder. Oh, it's a folder, Lee. Well, I've always needed a folder, <laughs> Bob. I mean... Oh, that's my mum. Where'd you get this? I reached out to the community. Blimey. Old programmes from our Bloody appearances. Bloody hell. 
She was principal soprano for Welsh National Opera at one point. Wow. Have you seen any of these things before? Never, Paul? never. Blimey. Look at that. Oh. She looks like you, Paul. Yeah, quite Especially similar. Especially in the eyes. Yeah, quite similar, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Oh. I'm actually knocked out. I can't quite comprehend it. Well, I think it encapsulates Christmas, you know, the memories, the nostalgia. That, that really does, so, yeah. Great, isn't it? Yeah. See what you think of this. Oh. Merry Christmas, Dad. Oh, Mo. Oh. Merry Christmas, Dad. <laughs> Carries. Merry Christmas. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Oh, Lauren. Oh. <laughs> My gorgeous girls. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Happy Christmas from you girls. Oh. So do you think I've managed to give you a dose of Christmas spirit, Paul? Yeah, I think you have, actually. Bob, you've really pulled out all the stops, haven't you? Yeah, I reckon. Cheers. Cheers. And a Merry Christmas to you. And to you, and a Happy New Year. And here's to many more. Oh. What? Oh. Carol singers. Carol singers. Oh, for God's sake. I'll just leave it. Let me go just leave it. <laughs> Well, have you got any money? Uh, no. <laughs> You're going to address them, are you? Yeah, I, I don't know. like the look of this. No, I'll be courteous. From is a mystery. It's at the changing of the seasons and the tides of the sea. <laughs> but he's the one that's driving me. No. To what a lonely fool's This is the coast of lonely fool's horses. La 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, 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 that is unbelievable. Amazing. I've never had such a shock in my life. <laughs> right, we've got to go and do the rest of the houses now. Get out of it. Rodney, <laughs> you plonker. <laughs> Did you not know? No, I had no bloody inkling at all. I told you no surprises, but that... That is a big... That is a cracker. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can I just ask, yeah. after every sentence you say, would you be willing to go cross-eyed? Just for fun of it. Just for... Bob, can I ask you a question about this chicken? <laughs> yes, mate, please. In the olden days, when you cooked these chickens, you know, you lot round the gaz, baz, yeah. maz and camping gaz, right? Yeah. But I just want to ask one serious question about the chicken. Did anyone <laughs> die as a result of your fiery chicken? No, because I'm very careful about cooking chicken. Okay. No, I realise the dangers of it. Paul. Yeah, good. And I know that there's... I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you can test it. What, what do they say? If the juices run clear, yeah. you should have no have fear. Have no fear. Yeah. If, if the, the juices, juices run, run red, red, you're potentially dead. Gotcha. My mum lived on her own, Paul, and she very rarely saw a soul. Yeah? No one. One day, and it's so unlike my mum, she said to me, um, could I have a hug? I haven't been hugged since I can remember, you know? Wow. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit morbid, but yeah, I would like, I wish I could have told my mum I loved it. I didn't tell her, I don't think I ever told her. Well. I did say goodbye to my dad. Yeah? Did you have a moment when you kind of realised you're not seeing him again? I had a sort of feeling I suppose I didn't really want to acknowledge it. You know, he was in hospital for two months and it was a, it was not a very nice decline in that, you know. Yeah. But I saw a little glimpse of it in him when he realised, you know, and he got, he got very emotional and sort of, you know, told me he loved me, which... Oh, well, that's yeah, nice, isn't it? Which people of his generation probably don't do. Men no. don't. And he, you know, I knew he did, but he never said it, you know. That is a big deal, isn't it? Yeah. Have I ever told you I love you? 
No, you don't need to. I just sense it. Well, you can smell it. You can <laughs> smell the love. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell do you think you've got there? Crossbow. <laughs> it's not a crossbow. It's a crossbow. What are you doing with a dangerous weapon and you, an idiot? We're in the middle of Essex, staying here Can all I say, night. Give me that a minute. Get Can off I... it. I might disarm you. You won't say that. Don't as a... point it at me. It's not loaded. Oh, as if your foot will help. It'll go straight through that pole. <laughs> it's worried me that you might flip. And you've oh, got I a could weapon. do a flip, couldn't I? Yes, you could. So I, so I start eating boilies or something. <laughs> I'd get trigger oh, you happy. You could go a bit feral, <laughs> couldn't you? It's got sights, everything. It's got the hook there for your sweets. I put a flump on there or whatever. Yeah. Just nibble on it, because it's instant sugar You hit. get a bit of water as well to hydrate yourself. Come on. I you put a go... water in there. Right. Who goes there? Right, give it to me. Uh, not to be sold below 16 years of age for sports use only. Made in Taiwan. Bob, honestly. What? Give me that. Now, you fool! Ah, you've <laughs> disarmed me! I've disarmed you, yes. Hi, Ted. Hey, all right, Teddy, there you go. Ah, thank you, Robert. There you are. Hey. Oh, you've spruced up nicely. I don't know, I thought I'd just change, put my shirt on this one. You've changed your shirt as well, haven't you? This is a needle cord. It's what everyone under 25's wearing. So how comes they let you in the club? Oh. You don't think I could get away with 25? <laughs> I've got you some nuts. OK, thank you. You could do something fun with these. You could, like, make some fangs, couldn't you? Like that? When... <coughs> oh, go on, try it and let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's quite disturbing, Bob. I know. <laughs> I never do anything much like what young people do. Good. You don't want to do what the young do. They really don't like it when it's rowdy and noisy. And... I hate the noise now. Yeah, I hate it and people. Oh, I know a young thing we can do, Paul. I've seen my kids doing this. What? It just has to be lemonade, I think, but you have to try and down it in one. Do you think you can do that? No, no, I don't want to do that. No. All right, so we're not doing a young thing then. Well, you can do it. You... I can do it. <laughs> you really don't look like an intimidating vampire. You look like... They're say, the some... worst type. <laughs> no, you do look like some breed of forest pig, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Don't put them back in there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> blimey. Pot luck now, isn't it? <laughs> I'll leave those two nuts there. They will call those the tooth nuts. I'll give it a go. You're going to... Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't try this at all. There's something inside me. Come on. <laughs> There's something inside me, Paul, I promise. It's and I don't know, what it's, your abdomen, I don't know what's going to happen with it. I'm getting out the line of fire. Something's got to go. You haven't finished <sighs> it. See that? Yes. Why did you do it, you moron? <laughs> it's going to blow. Well, sort of... <laughs> oh! Oh, uh, there's a thing I do when I've got wind. I wish I could live with you. Oh. <laughs> this is why you must never do what young people do. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh. I did the challenge, though. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I need to lie down, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go to bed. Oh. Hi, old-timer. What's that? What? That sort of French thing there. Don't you look at that chair. Do not make drawings of that chair or refer to that chair in conversation. That's my chair, yeah? It is none of your business. Please, Paul, I haven't even tried it yet. 
So what's got into you, then? <laughs> I mean, it's a monstrosity, isn't it's it? It's not a monstrosity. Look at it. Well, have you got something to say? Not really, no. That's locked it in. I mean, it's like a caravan. No, it's not like a car. A caravan has wheels. What is it exactly I'm writing, sir? It is inappropriate to kick Robert's chair. OK. How many times? 20. It is inappropriate to kick Robert's chair. <sighs> it's always the same faces, isn't it? Always the same boys with the smoking and the drawing on the toilet walls, isn't it? Sick to death of seeing your face in here. Put me off my spelling. Is that back, chat? You're a curious teacher. <laughs> you bottle of wine. How many have you done? Uh, look, two pages, now. That'll do. Okay. Pass them to me. <laughs> Don't pass them to me, Paul. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. It is important to kick Robert's chair. <laughs> You're over there? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing you our birthday party. <laughs> Can you see? Fireworks. Are you sure that this is a responsible behaviour? Yes, because they're near a cake. Oh, right. That's the rule, is it? Happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. Is it heart healthy? <laughs> no. But it's just once a year, Paul, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, my God! Yes, I've been to Lidl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Cheers, we really good. That's and the fish. trout are rising, the mayfly are rising. Look at the light, Bob. Look at the light. Yeah. Look at that. They're amazing, isn't it? And there's one final thing. Sorry, I am actually just just a, the sheer beauty of that is just sort of. Um, is the word enraptured? You're enraptured. Yeah, man. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Paul. You know, I went to the garden centre. Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, I didn't go just to go to the cafe and have a Chelsea bun. I went to get you a present. So I bought you a fig tree. A fig tree? Yeah. And wow. Then, and then, Paul, after I'm gone, right, uh -huh. and it starts to bear fruit... After you've yeah, gone? ..you can bite into those figs. <laughs> And I'll think of you. I'll think of me, yeah. Well, you put me to shame, but I, there is one thing I can do for you. I'd like to give you the fly that I tied. Oh, thank you. So there's three flies. Made by your fair hand. I'm going to put them in my hat. Good lad. So, Paul, this was our Mayfly trip, yeah? Yeah. So we were thinking about what we fit into 24 hours. Yeah, this would be something, wouldn't it? The truth is, Paul, mm -hmm. I don't think we could fit it all in 24 hours. Well, let's hope we live a bit longer than that, then, eh? And I think that's the final solid proof that we are not mayflies. mayflies. We are humans. Humans. To so humans, eh? Yeah? And away. away. <laughs> humans. <laughs>